hello guys welcome to my channel or tricks and in this video we are going to see uh, the thing which uh, we have uh, left in the last video uh, which is uh, rest api okay we have been uh, work, we have worked on uh, uh, one thing that was uh, this uh, web source module and i told you that is in, in the next video we will be see working on this uh, legacy web services references right so we will be working on this uh, in this video and we will uh, fetch some data using this right we will create one web service and we will uh, try to get data uh, from that into our apex application right so uh, first of all uh, before you create your uh, uh, page on apex you need to create one web service right as i have done just click on this web service uh, go to uh, this one create a new let me just copy my url which i have uh, created just you need to create uh, uh, click on this one so uh, rest is okay for us and uh, here you just need to give the name uh, the url uh, which you want to pass and uh, like uh, from where you want to get your data so there is obviously a, a rest right so uh, for that to check whether that particular thing is working or not either you can paste it uh, in the browser and and if it is uh, you know some uh, crude operation is there uh, then you can uh, use that on the postman application also on which we have recently uploaded one video so just provide this url and get method is okay and just click next uh, let me just okay dv okay and let me click on next and nothing we need to do we don't uh, need to input anything so just click on next and here you need to create on output is json right so you can test this application also but i would suggest you to just go for it and you just can click on create right after you click on that you will see such symbol over here right so now dv test rest is there so now we will go to our application this one as i have done uh, already uh, implemented this thing on page number three i think yes okay fine so now we require to you know uh, call that uh, particular services right so uh, go to this and uh, create process or else you can start from here also okay so please process right click and uh, create a new process and this will be created i have given a name like called dv web service right and in the type you need to select this one option this option that is a web service okay there are other option also but you need to select this one web service and then from here we will select the services which we have recently created right the dv test rest this one so now uh, after executing this command uh, we will get the records okay and now i want to uh, we, we are going to store that result in a collection okay rather than an item so make sure you uh, uh, select this collection and next is we should uh, give a name of that collection so that whenever uh, the data is coming then we can uh, query the data so that uh, uh, from the collection apex collection uh, we can find out the data which uh, uh, loaded for uh, this query so we should give one name which we can use to query our data right so here i am given uh, product underscore json right so whatever the data your uh, query or uh, let's say for example this query whatever we have passed all this data will be fetched into the collection called as a products json right so next create another process and now named it as create collection or whatever you want to okay in which you need to define a pl sql code okay and uh, the code would be like this okay product json and let's say for example uh lc data and you uh, need to define as a club then as the departments apex json dot t values and we will extract this data from uh, this uh, collection so select club into your local data local variable from apex collection where the collection name is equals to product underscore json as we have selected right 
so we pass the JSON data like apex JSON dot pass LJ JSON dot LC data right and now we will uh, loop uh, running a loop and fetch all the data one by one right so apex collection dot create or truncate collection and we need to pro uh, provide the uh, name of the collection that is product okay so and uh, after uh, executing this we are going to query this particular thing right product so for department one to apex dot get collection count and items and department then we need to pass the values you know uh, let's say for example if in this URL uh, we are fetching product ID and product name okay we are fetching only two items so that's why we have here p001 p underscore c001 and 002 and up to so on if you have uh, 15 uh, let's say for example 15 uh, columns you are fetching the you will be finding you need to write this code 15 times and each time you need to define the column name whatever you have defined in your table like product name and product id and product name right so everything works now okay so now we have created our uh, web services then we call the web services we store our data into the collection called as a product JSON after that we create a collection and enter the all the data into this and now uh, our data is set and uh, we just need to create a report okay where we can you know uh, show the data which we have uh, been loaded in this area right p underscore c001 right so that contains some data now so create one new region okay as i've created this one and named it as a report select a type as an interactive report a local database and sql query and just apply this code select c001 space product id 002 product name from apex collection where collection name is equals to product how we get this product this product this name product we have given in the create collection here whatever you whatever the name you are providing here a collection name that you knew you need to uh, call here so that, that you can fetch the data from that particular thing right so let me run the page uh, everything looks fine okay fine so see we are getting the data there are product ID product name is uh, listed now so now our uh, uh, query web module is working perfectly okay so now we have completed uh, this two section there is web source module in the last lecture and uh, last video and this legacy web service reference in this video hope you like this video if you have any doubt any anything any problem uh, just uh, comment i'll try to uh, sort it out and if you have any suggestion please let me know so we will be working uh, on that also so thank you so much for watching this video keep subscribe this channel and uh, share this channel so that we can have more subscribers so that it boost uh, boost us to uh, upload some more videos thank you thank you so much